Once upon a time, there was a Jewish man on a dangerous journey. He was on his way to Jericho from Jerusalem. His journey took him through winding mountain passes and desert trails. It was beautiful but treacherous at the same time. This popular road was known through the region to be a hideout for robbers who would many times attack and kill their victims. And that's exactly what happened to this poor man. He was riding nervously and quietly through the pass when suddenly a group of robbers jumped from the rocks and surrounded him. They rushed toward him, knocked him down, beat him up and stole all his possessions. Snickering with glee, they ran away to their secret hideout. They left the man to die in the withering desert sun. This was a popular road, so the robbers knew more victims would be traveling this road. For them, this meant more robbing and stealing. The man lay there dying, praying that someone would come and rescue him. He heard the muttering of prayers and pious language. A priest was coming and would rescue him. But as the priest came into sight, he did something strange. He pretended to not even see the injured man. In fact, he passed by on the other side of the road. Then, as the injured man was losing hope, he was awoken by the sound of footsteps. He lifted his head and saw another man journeying through the mountain pass. This man was a temple assistant. Finally, a rescuer. Imagine the man's grief when this man too passed right by him without so much as a sniff. Then something extraordinary happened. A despised Samaritan passed by the injured man. Samaritans were disliked by Jews, so the injured man knew that this Samaritan would most likely ignore him too. But to his surprise, the Samaritan came to his rescue. He cleaned the man's wounds, bandaged them up, put the man on his donkey, and helped him to the nearest town. There, he gave an innkeeper a generous amount of money to spend on the man to keep him well. If I need to pay any more, just tell me when I get back, he told the innkeeper. Jesus told this parable to explain the importance of love. Good morning everyone. Welcome back to MSc online class of class 3rd. Myself Priya and I hope you all are doing good. Students, today we will do revision of lesson 8. Today we will do revision of lesson 8. So, pay attention here. These are the questions. You can see here. From lesson number 8. So, pay attention here. Listen me carefully. Question 1 is... Why could Sinduri not go in search of food? Why could Sinduri not go in search of food? Sinduri could not go in search of food due to heavy rain. Sinduri could not go in search of food due to heavy rain. Now, second question is, what did Chiru say to the crows in the second meeting? What did Chiru say to the crows in the second meeting? Chiru said to the crows in the second meeting that we should help and support neighbors in needs of time. Chiru said that we should help and support everyone in times of need now question number four no question number three is write the name of the story told by jesus for the question who is my neighbor the story of the god uh, sorry the story of the good samaritan the story of the good samaritan question number four who gave food to Sinduri first? Who gave food to Sinduri first? Chinu gave food to Sinduri first. The answer is Chinu gave food to Sinduri first. Question number 5. 
write the names of your neighbors at least three and what do they do students you have to write the names of your neighbor here and what do they do means वो क्या करते हैं उनका occupation आपको लिखना है यहाँ उनका नाम लिखना है इन जो भी आपके पड़ोसी हैं उनमें जिस families को आप अच्छे से जानते हैं उनका आप यहाँ नाम लिखिए at least three names should be here and what they do means what do they do occupation you have to write like teacher doctors whatever or shopkeeper you can write here now who said this who said this let there be no day in your life in which you did no good to others let there be no day in your life in which you did no good to others the answer is saint chavra the answer is saint chavra students now listen carefully these questions you do in your class for copies properly three times and on the top you have to write revision of lesson 8 and three times you do practice of these questions learn it properly thank you everyone keep learning and stay safe at home